Hey there, Chang Un from Canada A Clan. Um, I wanted to put up a video today of me doing some speed farming. Uh, I just recently have um, leveled up to uh, uh, industrial age. Um, so I've been pushing and pushing and pushing to get loot. Um, so that I can be useful in wars again. I find at the beginning of any age, you're pretty, uh, I mean, <clears throat> until you've made the upgrades to your attack, you're not really much use in wars. So I've actually sat out wars for a couple wars here, trying to get my units upgraded. Um, I've got my blacksmith finally upgraded, and I can start doing units real soon. Um, I'm going to show just quickly my strategy for how I speed farm. Uh, you can see my units are building here now, all uh, pikemen or me the melee guys. Uh, I don't only build the melee guys, but um, the vast majority. I'll build a few um, uh, ranged units just to protect them if I decide I want to get the stars on a base. But most of the time I'm just trying to get the loot and get out. So um, you can see here I've got them building. Uh, it's actually showing me over max um, true capacity. capacity. But uh, I've got a single uh, tank unit if I were to choose to use it. I don't really often use it. I just find bases um, that are low and I just take the loot and get out and I don't worry about capping. Uh, you can see my trophy level, uh, 387. I found this is a good range, around 400. Uh, you get a little bit of oil, which is the nice thing. Um, a lot of the time when you go this low down, you're not going to see any oil. So um, it's nice. Around 400, you'll start to see some oil bases. Um, and because I'm already capped over to industrial, um, I see some more high-level bases, I believe. Um, so what I want to show is I'm going to show a replay of a couple of attacks I've done. And I'll show the timestamps too, so you can see that it's truly speed farming. Um, so I just got home and I did, 20 minutes ago I did an attack for very little. Uh, it was a bad choice, I think. I'll show that one. Uh, I might not show that one. Um, eight, two minutes later, I got 250,000 uh, food. A minute after that, another 143,000. Three minutes after that, 300,000. Uh, it, within 20 minutes, I had gotten how much? Let's see, uh, 400,000, 700,000, uh, 850,000, about a million. So I got about a million in 20 minutes, um, which is, you know, that's pretty solid. You're able to get a million in 20 minutes. Um, it's not always going to be that easy. I, I actually did run into a lot of good bases along the way. Um, I'll show a few of them and I'll just show I'll show my most recent one because I thought it was pretty uh, Good that I could get as much as I did with only 29 units. So um, One thing if you're going to use these pikemen or a melee unit you need to be really careful of the catapults and really careful of the uh, whatever these are redoubts redoubts um, So you see I actually opened right beside the readout there um, and then push directly into the catapult now and put a few units in behind. Now, I, I got rid of all the things that could uh, range attack me right away. So that leaves me, you know, just buildings to crush and a few units coming along. The DPS on these melee units, or well, I guess they're not melee, but um, these pikemen uh, is so huge. Fusilier is, is so strong that I just love them. I use them a lot when I farm. Uh, when I do war attacks, I don't because they do die a little bit more quickly. But here I used a uh, rally and you can see I put it at a point where I can't get hit by anything except for this one, these garrison units here. And I got a little lucky, but look how they path. They path down and they path over and only a few of them get killed by this ranged unit here. And they, they just crush through that wall and then I decided I wanted to try to get these up here. So um, I'm also in this situation not looking to get uh, stars at all. Sometimes I will. Uh, I'll show a couple where I actually do just because it, they were so easy to kill that you may as well and then you keep all your units. 
um, and also get the trade goods. Soon the trade good event is about to start, um, and I'm sure I'll be trying to cap more bases then. I'm trying to keep my trophies as low as possible before the event starts. Uh, the event's only a dime in mine this time. It's not as, I don't, I'm not as excited for that because I don't really have any trouble with diamonds right now. Um, so that's about it for this attack. You can see it's starting to die off. Um, I tried to make a little push to see if I could get this last group of farms, but he gets shot. So that's the end of that one. So that was only 29 units and I got 400,000 loot or 450, 480,000. So that's a lot of loot for a very simple attack. I'll show another one where I do go for the five star and I'll show, how, show you how I do it. Um, this one here where I got 300,000. Um, yeah, you notice how I always say the, the food amount. Uh, I generally don't worry about the gold. I'm actually, since I capped over two in uh, industrial, I'm not building any of the buildings, the, the gold bot buildings, defensive buildings. So you can see a pretty easy base here, um, kind of uh, low level, not a very good setup, a big open setup. If you were in COC, you'd take Valks and just destroy this guy. Um, you see, I started three different groups of the melee guys. When I, I committed early to, if you're going to go for the stars, don't send your troops in slowly. Just do it. Just go all the way in. Um, you're going to regret the slow progress of sending them in um, because leaving units out hanging out to dry is not worth it. You prefer to just go all the way in and try to actually commit and get the, the quick victory and everything um, than to sporadically send them in. So I made a big push here. See again, I targeted the catapult. I mean, we all know to target catapults, but it's extra important with this kind of army. Um, if those catapults are just left to smash my units, they'll kill them in a couple shots. So you don't want to let that happen. You really want to try to get them down before they can do that. You can see, look how quickly this is This is dead. This, this is like an unbelievably fast. With the amount of DPS that comes with these units, uh, you can really crush bases quickly and efficiently. Um, that one went that so quickly that I'll show another one really quick uh, with not a max amount of units used. Um, so the key points here, I'll just say it again. Um, you want to bring a lot of the uh, fusiliers or pikemen. Um, you want to bring a few musketeers to back them up. You don't want only fusiliers. You probably want a few musketeers, a few ranged, just to go behind them. They really help to clean units up that are trying to smash your garrison units. Uh, you, you also might want to bring a tank. You don't necessarily. I normally bring like a wall breaker as well. You can see I'm building one now. Uh, it's sometimes getting in that wall really quickly is really helpful. Um, and you really, uh, it, you want to target bases. You want to make sure the bases that you're picking to attack are high level um, loot and accessible. You want to be able to scout that out really quickly. How about this? The last one, I will scout out a base and see what we find. Um, and hopefully we get lucky early on, and it's not uh, a long wait to find a good base. Um, yeah, the scouting is really important. You don't want, you want to scout and get the bases you want. You don't want to just be picking any base. Oh, there we go. Glitch. And do I still have my units? Yes, I do. Classic glitch dominations. I get to put glitch in every hashtag that I a video I make. Pretty awesome. Um, I do find the game still glitching, uh, especially lag. Lag is becoming a big issue for me. So I'm not sure if it's my tablet that is not able to process it, or if that's the case, then they need to maybe lower the game's um, requirements. Anyway, they'll have to think about that in the future. I'm sure COC thought of that when they made their polygon-shaped characters. They're very cartoony-looking characters. I bet that saves a lot of resolution. I'm obviously not educated in this, so I probably sound like an idiot, but... Um, okay, so I'm going to attack this one. Uh, now, you see the early on on this side, it's very open, very safe. Uh, I would worry about this red out a little bit. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to push through the right side here. So I'm actually going to use my tank unit here. Might not always, but I do this. I will this time. 
I like the idea of him going in front and sucking up all that damage. And I'm going to go all, the, all in on this one. I think I can get a 5-star very easily. Um, and I want to just make sure I get it. So they're not going through that wall. Yeah, there we go. They're going through the wall. That's what I wanted. Um, that group that's going up north there, that's fine. They'll clear out those buildings. They'll let them die. Um, it's not ideal, but they're clearing out buildings for me to make sure my units path properly. Now, you can see they're starting to damage my units there, so i got to get in there and not let them die. So that spike damage quickly on them is really important. You don't want to let them get crushed. And you can see that most of them survive there. That's the most important thing. They can have low health. It doesn't really matter that they have low health because a lot of the towers take one-shot kills anyway. Uh, this is not great. I've got this rid out killing my guys up north. I'm left with my smaller army down south. There we go. Now that it's down, it should be a little bit easier. I can burst on this one to the south. <clears throat> and get it down quickly. There we go. Not quite enough units probably to get the max stars. <clears throat> we'll see. Uh, there's Yeah, I think there's too many garrison units still that are going to take me out. But I got the loot. Um, still got a little bit of loot to go, go, but I should be able to, you know, that's a solid victory for the amount of unit cost that went into that. Uh, I'm getting a lot of gain. So um, it's not my best attack. I was just looking for a quick one to show. But you can still see that those garrison army, those not garrison, those uh, melee armies really can get the job done. And that's, I think, is how I would farm if I were you guys. A lot of people use raiders. Raiders work fine, but they kind of leave you without a lot of opportunity to get the five star or to like pinpoint things um, as well as defenses. Like they really go for that loot so much that they let everything else crush them. And I like the idea that um, that I, my army this way can actually protect it, protect itself. I'm going to make a quick run here and try to catch some more loot before they can shoot me. Uh, that